Okay, so magandang umaga mga engineers. So welcome ulit sa Engineer JD YouTube channel. So this is our second video. So second video para sa araw na to. So we'll discuss about single variable optimization problem sa calculus. Okay? So bago natin i-discuss yan, so we'll discuss first yung practice problem na iniwan natin last video. So here it is. So nakuha na natin yung area ng red region. Meron tayo yan. And hinahanap na naman natin ay ang area ng blue region. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin yung area ng blue region? So, mapapansin nyo, so, meron siyang parang mata dito. Ito na, parang mata. Okay? Ito. So, this actually is a combination of two segments, each angle 90 degrees. Okay? So, we cut this way. So, mapapansin natin, may dalawang segments tayo. We get the area. So, 1 half R squared. So, 1 half times radius 10 squared times theta, which is 90 degrees or pi over 2. So, pi over 2, minus sine 90 degrees. So, then multiply by 2 since equal yung dalawa, tama. So, now, once we get this area, we subtract this red region. Okay. So, once we subtract this, ang makukuha natin ay ito. So, equal yung dalawa. So, we divide it finally by 2. Makukuha natin ang tamang sagot. Okay. So, sa mga nag-comment sa video natin ng sagot at solution, so maraming salamat sa pagsusol. So, I mention natin sila. So, Ray John Torres, okay? Jefferson Daguia, and Sedi Matverse. So, master talaga. So, ito yung solution niya. So, makikita nyo, this is very detailed, very explained. So, ang tamang sagot. So, makikita nyo, the correct answer is 12.78 square meters. Okay ba? So, proceed na tayo sa topic natin for today. So, which is the single variable optimization problem. So, problem. So, we have an equilateral triangle. So, radius 6. Radius may mean side length 6. So, pinapahanap sa atin yung height h no, nung flow natin, nung tubig, such that meron tayong largest possible hydraulic radius. Okay? So, of course, this is calculus because we are finding for the largest one. But what first is hydraulic radius? So, yun yung i-introduce natin concept natin. So, bago natin masolve siya. So, hydraulic radius, so, measure, so, measure sa ng resistance. Bale, yung effectivity ng channel natin para i-travel, i-transport yung flow natin sa channel. Okay? So, the formula for the hydraulic radius, so, hydraulic radius equals to the flow area so this is the flow area yung kinocover ng fluid natin this one over the wetted perimeter yung lining ng channel natin so lining ng channel natin na binabasa kumbaga ng fluid natin okay now the symbol for hydraulic radius is R so R so equals A over P sub W now na anong Anong property ni R? So, pag malaki, so, pag malaki si area, so, all others being constant, so, pag malaki yung area, obviously, mas maraming area covered, so, mas malaki yung volume na pwedeng i-transport ng no? channel natin. Okay? So, larger hydraulic radius. Tama? Nasa numerator siya. Okay? Also, ibig sabihin yan, mas malaki ang discharge Q natin. Also, pag mas maliit yung wetted perimeter natin so ibig sabihin mas maliit yung lining na na babasain ng channel natin okay but the lining of the channel okay siya yung nagbibigay ng kumbaga ng friction para kontrahin yung flow ng fluid natin sa channel so pag mas maliit ang wetted perimeter mas maliit yung kokontra dun sa channel, sa flow natin so ibig sabihin mas malaki din ang hydraulic radius so nasa denominator siya so, inversely proportional. So, meaning, mas malaki din ang discharge. Okay? So, anong relation ni discharge kay hydraulic radius? So, marami tayong formulas dyan. Dadaanan natin yan soon sa next videos natin. So, we have the Chesi, okay? the Manning's formula, and the Hayes and Williams equation. Kung familiar kayo dyan, of course. Okay? Ngayon. So, next proceed na tayo sa problem natin. Solve na natin. So, this... Okay, so na natin. First, we label the dimensions, no? Especially this one, non-trapezoid na to. So, may nabuong trapezoid yung flow natin. 
So first, we label this linear dimensions, label it as x, this this parts, x, and 6, 6 yung total base width natin, so base width, bottom width, this one is the top width, so if 6 is our bottom width, so we'll get 6 minus 2x in this part, and therefore the top width is also 6 minus 2x, okay pa? Next, we label this again as height h, and we have 60 degrees since equilateral yung triangle natin, okay pa? Yeah. So first, we get the area of the trapezoid. Okay. So this one also is the side S. Kailan din natin yan. First, kunin para makuha natin yung area ng trapezoid, we first relate H and S and X, of course. So using this right triangle. So this is right triangle. So first, tangent 60 equals opposite over adjacent. So opposite ng 60 is, of course, H. And the adjacent of 60 is x. So we have h over x. So we solve for x equals to h over tangent 60 degrees. Okay pa? Next. Okay, so sa calculate natin, of course, tangent, walang cotangent dyan, no? So most likely you'll use this one. Pero para mas hindi pangit tingnan, so we'll write cotangent dito sa video na to. Okay? So next, let's now relate S and X. So these two. So from the sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So H over S. Okay? So opposite H, hypotenuse, S. Okay? So S therefore is H sine over sine 60. So para one line lang tayo. So H cosecant 60 degrees. Okay po? So now, na-relate na natin si X and S in terms of H. So we can now get the area of the trapezoid. So 1 half times height. Height natin is H. Base 1. So bottom base natin is, of course, 6 meters. Top width. So base base 2 is 6 minus 2X. But X, nakuha na natin kanina, is H cotangent 60 degrees. So we'll write that. So this one, okay, sinabstitute na natin. So, finally, we get 6H minus H squared cotangent of 60 degrees. Okay pa? So, next, we'll get now the wetted perimeter. So, wetted perimeter is this one, 6 plus dalawang side slope natin, which is labeled S. So, 6 plus 2S. But S is nakuha na natin, H cosecant 60 degrees. So, H cosecant, so 6 plus 2H cosecant 60 degrees. Degrees. Okay, but so finally, so we now introduce the hydraulic radius. So area of wetted perimeter, pasok lang natin. So ito siya. So ito na yung radius of hydraulic radius natin in terms of h. Yun. So first step. So okay po, okay, okay pa buba tayo dyan. Okay. So next step, of course, since we are finding the largest possible hydraulic radius. So, we'll start now with the optimization procedure. So, we'll get first the derivative of R, no? So, since it's a product of two polynomials, no? Ito lang po na yung yes. Product of two polynomials in terms of H. So, we'll use the quotient rule. So, if we have U and V as functions of X, so Y plus Y. So, you'll get dy over dx equals V O prime minus U V prime over V squared. Of course, well, this is the mathematical form. Of course, para mas madaling matandaan yan. So, pwede nyo gawa ng music. Pwede nyo gawa ng kantang. Gusto nyo? O kaya gawa ng dance challenge kung gusto para matandaan nyo? Sige. Okay. So, if we label this as high, high kasi nasa taas siya. And low, low kasi nasa baba siya. Okay. So, this one, V, U prime, becomes low. Okay. So, V U prime becomes low D high. Okay. So, low D high. Then, U V prime is high D low. Then, V squared is low squared. So, low D high minus high D low over low squared. So, yeah. So, napaka-interesting mnemonic tayo dyan. So, mas madali natin siyang matatandaan. Okay. So, balik tayo dun sa function natin. So, let's now use this low D high minus high D low over low squared. 
So, get the derivative in terms of h. So, low. So, denominator tayo. So, low. Copy lang natin. Denominator. Minus derivative ng high. Low d high. So, 6 minus 2h cotangent. 60 degrees. Okay? Minus high. So, high. D low. So, derivative ng baba. So, this is 2 cosecant. 60 degrees. Okay po? So, over low squared. So, then square lang natin yung denominator. So, yan. Ayan siya. Mahaba-haba. Yan. So, now, let's equate it to zero. Okay? Because it's a property na no, kapag maximum siya or minimum, the slope of the function is zero or yun. The slope of the function is zero. Okay? So, now, we equate it to zero and now solve for the value of h. We'll get 3.2114 meters as the final answer. Tapos agad. Ayun. Tapos na agad. Actually, meron pa isa. We have h is negative 8.4076. But, sino po may gusto na negative yung h natin? Eh, possibly dito. Tama? So, we make it discarded. Okay? So, tapo na natin ito. Okay po? Now, so the final answer is this. But how do we know if maximum ba talaga yun? So, mali nyo pala, minimum hydraulic yun. O kaya hindi pala siya yung maximum or minimum. So, paano natin malalaman to? Sige. So, we'll proceed of course with, again, getting the derivative of the derivative of the function. Okay. So, that is the second derivative test. Okay? So, we'll make of this. So, kukunin natin yung, so, pag nakuha natin yung value ng x such that, yun nga, nakuha natin kanina ng x, from equating it to 0, no, the first derivative, and substitute it to the second derivative, tama? The function, okay? So, pag positive yung nakuha natin value, it's a minimum, okay? If negative, it's a maximum, and if equal to 0, it's a point of inflection. So, big sabihin, big sabihin, it's neither minimum or nor maximum, okay? So, for this problem, so, we get the second derivative so hindi ko na hindi ko na ipapakita because it's very 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 long okay so papansin niyo ang daming brackets in-input ko kasi siya sa software okay so ito yung nakuha ng derivative ng second derivative ng software natin so this one ayan so substitute h equals 3.2114 yung nakuha natin kanina so substitute dito you'll get negative point 861. So, obviously, this is negative. Okay pa? So, since this is negative, based dito, pag negative ang nakuha natin second derivative, it's a maximum. Okay? So, maximum. So, this is a local maximum. And since, ito lang naman yung nag-iisang value ng h na nakuha natin, this is also a global maximum. So, ito yun na talaga yung pinaka-maximum natin. Okay? Yun. So, may tanong, kung may tanong kayo, of course, pwede, kayong, pwede nyo i-comment sa video natin. So, okay? So, so, I hope may natutunan kayo. So, para matest natin kung talagang nagets nyo. So, here's a problem for practice. So, this one. Ayan. So, this one. In this na triangular, we have a semicircular channel. So, base 9 meters. No? So, again, find the height h such that maximum mga hydraulic ranges natin. So, okay? So, please comment your answer and solution to the video in the yun, in the comments, okay? So, as usual, pipili ako ng mga first solvers. If you feature ko yung isa na detailed talaga ang solution, no? Uh, yun, maraming salamat. Okay? So, as usual, please follow me. Also, please subscribe and like my videos and my YouTube channel. And also, yun, add me on my Facebook. So, here are my details. And also, please join this wonderful Facebook group, Civil Engineering Board Exam Problems, Philippines. Okay? So, oh, I think that's all for today. So, I hope marami kayong natutunan. So, yun, thank you, mga engineer. And 